How's it going, YouTube? Warhead XX of Warcard Games here, bringing you my follow-up to which banned cards I think or don't think may return. In this video, I will go through each limited card, uh, telling you if I think they should go uh, get banned, go to two or three, or stay where it is. I'm going to go from Advanced Ritual Art to Wind Up Carriers and Mighty, and I'm going to do it as fast as possible. So let's begin. Advanced Ritual Art. It is. I honestly think Advanced Ritual Arts only uh, is only uh, busted in one deck currently. That'd be um, uh, what's that freaking deck called? Uh, Herald of Perfection. Herald of Perfection. Even though that deck is uh, annoying to deal with, I don't think it's a tier deck. I could see Advanced Ritual Art going to two, or th uh, I could definitely see Advanced Ritual Art going to two. But I'm going to say stay for now. Allure of Darkness. Allure of Darkness is a really good draw card. It is the it is super splashable if you run some kind of dark monster, but it is conditional because you need a dark monster in your hand, or you need to draw a dark monster, otherwise you get a huge drawback. And that's the reason why I'm going to say keep Allure of Darkness at one. So stay where you are. So we got two stays so far. Let's go to Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. Uh, Black Luster Soldier, the Envoy of the Beginning. I honestly don't know why this card was on ban. This card is beyond unbalanced. It is so easy to drop. It it, it is has such a laughable uh, summoning condition. Yet it has such overwhelming stats, and it can attack twice and remove any monster from on the field from play, including himself. So you can mind control. And remove Envoy at the beginning from themselves, but we'll get to mind control eventually. I say, Black Luster Soldier, go back where you belong in the ban banished zone. In the banned zone. Ahaha. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. Black Whirlwind. Uh, I think this card should go to two. I think it's a crime that uh, Wind of Factory is at three while Black Whirlwind's at two, so yeah. I mean, Black Whirlwind's at one. Uh, Black Whirlwind honestly isn't that busted of a card, it's pretty balanced. Uh, if you look at a uh, uh, hell freaking Madolce ticket is more busted than this card, honestly, Konami, what are you doing? So yeah, Black War one to two, uh, Gale uh, the Whirlwind. Um, honestly, I want this card to go to two, but if that happens, then uh, Whirlwind has to stay at one. It would either be a uh, either or kind of thing. So yeah, I think uh, Gale should go to two also, but if they both went to two, uh, Black Wings will probably come back in a big way. Um, so yeah, oh yeah. By the way, I said Gale uh, to to two. Yeah, obviously. Uh, Book of Moon. Honestly, I don't really care because uh, I think Book of Moon should go to two. I honestly think Book of Moon's an overrated card. I think the uh, the the uh, best minus one in the game right now is Compulse Compulsory Evacuation Device. It is. I think it's far superior to Book of Moon in today's game. Plus, you don't see anybody running Empty Jar mainly because of Dark Worlds. Um, burial from the from a different dimension. I think this card could go to three. I don't give a fudge because this card doesn't gain you any real advantage. All it's really used for is to recycle Mizuki's uh, card destruction. I think this card should be banned. It is just way too unbalanced, especially with Dark Worlds running around. Uh, Ceasefire. Ceasefire, I think it should stay where it is. It is the best burn card in the game, in my opinion. Um, that's probably the reason why it's at one. Um, Chaos Sorcerer. Chaos Sorcerer, I think, should go to either two or three. I don't think this card is as busted as it is. Uh, it's only busted because Black Luster Soldier is in the game. And if Black Luster Soldier gets banned, Chaos Sorcerer should go to two or three. Charge of the Light Brigade. I think this card should stay. Um, mainly because if it gets banned, Light Swords will be kind of unplayable. And if it went to two or three, Light Swords would be way too consistent. Uh, Dandelion. Dandelion, I think, is it's fine where it is because it's not too broken to ban it. It is it is far it causes it far too much advantage to put it at two or three. Uh, Dark Arm Dragon. I think this card should stay. Uh, like the same thing with uh, Dandelion, except I think this card is good enough to ban, but it is way too conditional now. I mean, you have to get exactly three darks. I mean, there's a lot of decks that uh, that help uh, manipulate the graveyard, uh, but Dark Arm Dragon is kind of hard to get in your hand, and while you still have those three in the graveyard, so yeah, I think it's fine where it is. Uh, any more than that, I just cause way too much advantage. Dark Hole, I think it should stay where it is because uh, Dark Hole is kind of like a stable card that can be used in any deck. Uh, Stratos, I think this card should stay where it is because if it was banned, it would uh, kill the Hero Engine, and if it was at two, it cause way too much advantage. Uh, Vishki Gus Kraken, I think it should stay where it is because. Uh, 
Konami really wants to get rid of those hand loops, and hand loops are broken as shit because they just make it. They pretty much broke the game last format, and that's the reason why Gus Kraken's at one. Even though the Gabishkis, I don't think, topped it at all. Exodia, the Forbidden One, should stay because it's been in the game for the longest time ever, and I think since the first set. And Exodia is just uh, part of the game. It's always going to be part of the game, in my opinion. Foolish Burial. I don't know. I like Foolish Burial at two. I like the idea of Foolish Burial at two. I honestly don't think this card is that busted. It is a uh, inherent minus one, but it is a really good minus one. It's like Book of Moon and Compulse, where it's just like a really good minus one. Uh, I think it should go to two. I don't know what do you guys think. Write in the comments below. Formula Synchron. Formula Synchron. I think it should stay because uh, Synch it's like one of the only decent synchros left, and uh, ban it's not good enough to ban. And two just gives you way too much advantage. Uh, Gateway of the Six. I think this card should be banned because it is just a straight up OTK engine. An OTK engine should just be, you know, eradicated from the game, in my opinion. Um, Gladiator Beast Best Yari. I think this card should stay where it is because if it went to two, Gladiator Beast will be way too consistent. Uh, Gore's the Emissary of Darkness. I think this card should stay where it is because it is really the only thing combat in OTKs, even though it is it, it can turn games over so quickly, but only good players can sniff out Gore's. Heavy Storm, I think this card should stay. Like I said about Giant Trinade, if Giant Trinade came back and Heavy Storm got banned, everybody would play uh, Glad Beasts and just summon freaking uh, Laquari set four. No, oh, you have Giant Trinade? Who cares? Um, Honest. Honest, I think, should stay. Probably, I'm 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 on the ban side, but I'm yeah I'm gonna say honest ban because honest just turns around games way too often. Uh, Infernity launcher, stay where you are because if if it if it got banned, uh, then Infernities would just be useless. Uh, Insector dragonfly and Insector horn. I'm gonna pair these two together because, uh, yeah, uh, Insectors are still topping. Uh, they're not as consistently busted as they once were, but. There's, I think they're decent at one. Um, pieces go with the head. Uh, Legendary Six Samurai Shien uh, should stay where it is. If it was at two, it'd cause way too much advantage. It'd be like uh, back in the day. It's kind of comparable to Logia, in my opinion, because if you, if an uh, opponent gets out two Logias, you pretty much lost. Like back in the day, it was like two Shiens, you pretty much lost. Uh, Limiter Removal. I think this card should stay because it is far too inconsistent of a card. Plus, it, if if it was put uh, up, it would be way too much, and it would be too in. It would be too consistent in OTKing your opponent. Lone Fire Blossom. I think this card should go to two. I mean, plants haven't really been relevant. Uh, Magical Explosion. Keep it where it is. Too. It's only really there just to cause OTKs. Mizuki. Um, Mizuki. I think could go to two, but I think I want to keep it staying for now. Because mainly because zombie types are getting more support and stuff. So. Uh, mind control. Mind control. I think is a busted card. I think this card should be banned. But uh, I don't know how you guys feel about it. I think it should be banned. It's just like no cost. It's pretty much free exceed in synchro. A monster gate. It is. I think stay. It is. It isn't too good of a card, but it is busted in heretics. Uh, monster reborn. I think it should stay because every deck can use it pretty much. Uh, morphing jar. Uh, I think it should stay. Yeah, stay, because Morphing Jar, I mean, the Empty Jar deck isn't used as much. Necroface, I think this card should stay, because uh, it would make the freaking Necroface uh, Chaos deck way too consistent. Um, Neo, Space and Grandma will stay, because this card is just like Yada Garuso now, I guess. Mm. No, Yada Garuso lock was way more broken but still grandma was pretty busted night assailant i think night assailant should stay well because just cuz okay one for one uh one for one is uh i think it should go to two or three because i honestly this card isn't as busted as it once was because there is no glow bulb uh plague spreader i think this card should stay because zombies are like dumb sometimes uh, Pot of Avarice, I think the shark card should get banned because it just, it's pretty much Pot of Greed in a couple of decks, pretty much. It's just like, it's not fair in some situations. Uh, Primal Seed, uh, this card can stay as long as BLS stays, but 
Actually, I want this card to go to three. I don't even care. I don't think anybody's going to play that stupid loop. Uh, Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon. You can stay. Uh, reinforcements of the army. Um, you can uh, stay. I mean, like, I don't really have to give explanations for those two cards. Uh, Return from the Different Dimension. I think this card should stay, um, get banned because this card, I think, is better than Dimensional Fusion in some situations. Uh, the right arm, right legs, it goes with the head. Uh, Sangin, I think it should stay. Um, Sangin is not as busted as people think it is. Uh, advantage just doesn't mean anything. It's just what a player does with the advantage that makes uh, what uh, Yu-Gi-Oh busted and shit. So yeah, Scapegoat. Scapegoat, you could stay because Scapegoat's an annoying card. Solemn Judgment, stay. Uh, Spore, you can go to three. Um, TG Hyper Librarian, you can get banned because that card is dumb. Uh, TG Striker, I think you can go to two or three. I don't even care. I don't think TGs have done really anything in a while. Um, transformation uh, prophecy. You can go to three. I don't even care. I don't even care if you loop tri transmigration prophecy. I don't even care if you put up that much setup. Sukiyomi. You can go to three because nobody uses you. Um, ultimate offering. You can get banned because you are an OTK engine. Uh, wall revealing light. You can go to three because nobody cares because there's three MSTs in this game. And wind up the carrier Zen Mighty. Uh, you can either get banned or stay. Honestly, I don't really care because I don't play wind ups. I think this card could stay. Yeah, just stay. Who cares? There's no more wind up loop. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, please like, comment if you guys disagree with me. Uh, and uh, subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys next time.